good morning um i had a bad day or a bad night anyway um so i had to wake up and do my makeup and look my best because you know you look good you feel good um but aside from that um i actually wanted to do this video yesterday but and just go as planned um so today on this video i will be telling you my symptoms um and what led me up to going to the hospital and getting checked out um uh, and then what kind of cancer or what type of cancer they diagnosed me up with um and then uh, just talk about um colon cancer risk fast risk factors um and yeah so that's what this video will be today um as for my symptoms i had like severe bloating like i look like i was about to have triplets um it was like my stomach was just huge it was uncomfortable i was in horrible pain i looked and felt like i was about to have a baby um the only way i could describe it to the er doctors was that i was having contractions like that's what it felt like it's just labor contractions men you won't understand uh what that feels like but if you've ever seen someone uh, having labor contractions it's it even looks painful so um i'm hoping that um maybe you can understand that um other than that like that that's like an off the shot charts type of pain um it kind of comes and goes sometimes i'll have it for a day sometimes i'll have it for two or three days it really just depends um and uh other than that, I do have like a constant, maybe four or five pain, um, that I deal with constantly. It always hurts. Um, and, uh, let me see. There's lots of vomiting, <laughs> lots of vomiting, um, and inconsistent bowel movements. Like, um, maybe I have... I'm not able to go to the bathroom and I have like constipation for up to three weeks um, unless I, you know, take something for it. Um, and, um, or I will have severe, like watery, like clear, clear <laughs> diarrhea. Um, you know for weeks at a time it's just it it's never and it never makes sense like there's nothing that i had done um that could cause it or nothing i'd eaten that could cause it um i guess you know with the bowel patterns i've never really like i've always had digest digestive issues so when it first started i wasn't concerned but whenever you know the pain and the bloating came I did get concerned because um, I wasn't used to that. Um, so on the 31st of August, I um, finally, um, after waiting since May, uh, got in to get my colonoscopy. Um, basically what they did was the GI doctor that uh, was getting my colonoscopy took biopsies um, gave them to the pathologist, which is the person that studies, or the doctor that studies, um, the cells and tissues under a microscope. Um, and he determined that I have poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma with, uh, signet ring cell features. And I'll break that down for you guys. Um, let's see, the poorly differentiated um, is a grade of cancer. Um, cancers are, um, mostly put in three different grades, but can be 
put into two different. Um, so the three different grades are um, well differentiated, moderately differentiated, and poorly differentiated. Um, well differentiated is a low grade. Um, moderately differentiated is intermediate grade, um, and poorly differentiated is a high grade um, cancer. Um, with the poorly differentiated, it is um, known to be aggressive, um, fast growing, fast growing, fast spreading uh, cancer, and um, is 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 uh, normally like a, a grade um, three and four. Um, what that means is uh, once it's category uh, category categorized as um, poorly differentiated is um, the cancer cells have are you know they already your cells you know they kind of split and then they attack whatever is in your body um, they're they're what keeps you going for the most part um, but even cancer cells like they will split off and they will start attacking the good cells um a tissue in the tissue and the organs um and it just continues to do that until you're just it's everywhere um so and like i said i have poorly differentiated um and let's see um as for the um signet ring cell um which is crazy because <laughs> um, it's actually in 2019, it was, there was only 29 cases re reported of this type of cancer. Um, it's, it's rare, very rare. Like I, I won the lottery with this, <laughs> I won the lottery with this cancer. Um, they say, um, on the website I was looking on, um, I, it was the American Cancer Society, um, that less than 1% of people get this cancer. Um, and then it says that um, it's a type of colon cancer um, and it is four times more prevalent in your ages 20s to 40s. Um, but no one, uh, every, everyone that, uh, has these 29 people, um, they come in at a later time because they don't want you to get your colonoscopy until you're 50. Um, and so unless you're having issues, troubles like I am, you know, they're not in no hurry to do that. Um, but uh let me see what else did i get on that oh yeah um so right side uh colon tumors are known to have um i'm reading off my notes um are known to have worse progression um with a lower than five year survival rate um and a five year disease free survival rate um I guess what I gathered from that is um, it's likely to come back um, eventually, um, which is scary, but I mean, most cancers, you know, sometimes they come back. Um, let me see. Uh, tch -tch. Also, um, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, let's see, the uh, signet ring cell carcinoma of the colon tends to have an overall poor survival rate compared to patients with other histol histolo 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 <laughs> um, subtypes of cancer. Um, I mean, it's rare, uh, one in a million, I guess. So, um, I guess that makes sense. Um, 
now we're going to talk about um things to look out for um for colon cancer for anybody of any age um let's see um and i got this off of the um the mayo clinic website so if you want to check that out um let's see a persistent change in bowel habits um like diarrhea or constipation or change in the consistency of your stool um like if it goes from hard to loose soft um just everything's up and down crazy all the time um you know probably want to talk to your doctor about that um rectal bleeding um or blood in your stool like i like you know i told you my symptoms earlier i never had blood there was never any blood there was never no any sign of blood at all um which is kind of a reason why they kind of just you know put me off they wasn't um really concerned i guess because they kept on asking me do you have blood in your stool and i'm like no no it's it looks the way it's supposed to um <laughs> but there was never any blood um let me see uh persistent abdominal discomfort like um cramps gas um pain um let's see uh, uh feeling like um like no matter how many times you go to the bathroom you're not emptying out like everything's not coming out um weakness and or fatigue um you're just exhausted all the time unexplained weight loss i actually did lose almost 30 pounds in the last three months four months i guess i ain't complaining though i feel good i look good well i don't feel good but i look good um let me see what else do we got um uh, normally the people that, uh, start experiencing, uh, symptoms, um, and these pains and things like that, like they're already in a, um, later stage, um, and the, and the diseases already took one, two steps. Um, also have the risk factors, um, people that, uh, are more prone to have colon cancer um and there's quite a few so bear with me um risk factors for colon cancer are um people 50 and older uh, but it can happen at any age let's not leave that out um uh, african americans um, have a greater risk of uh of getting colon cancer than any other race um, if you have a personal history, um, if you've ever had, uh, polyps or cancer, uh, colon cancer before, then you could possibly, um, get it again. Um, uh, people with inflammatory, um, intestinal conditions, um, like, uh, like chronic inflammatory disease, uh, ulcerative ulcer <laughs> colitis, um, you meant what I know, uh, and uh, Crohn's disease, um, they are uh, susceptible to uh, colon cancer. Um, inherited syndromes, um, let me see, a mutations passed through uh, generations, which, uh, is me. I have inherited this thing. Um, let's see, uh, only a small percentage of colon cancers are linked to inherited genes. That 1%. Um, like, um, FAP, which is, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm horrible with pronouncing these things. Um, just Google it. FAP. Google it. <laughs> um, it's a sort of polyp. Um, and let me see. FAP, Lynch syndrome, and uh, HNPCC, hereditary non polyps 
colorectal cancer. Um, those are the types that can be um, inherited uh, and passed down through your family. Um, let's see, if you have a family history of colon cancer, um, a family history and, and hereditary symptoms, they're, they're different, um, but they could be the same. Um, let me see, low fiber, high fiber diets, uh, uh, if you're inactive, you're prone to colon cancer, um, just cause activity keeps your bowels moving, keeps things going, pushing, um, and nothing has time to really just sit there. But if you're not active, um, it's no bueno. Uh, let me see, diabetes, obesity, you smoke, drink, um, if you have previous radiation treatments to your stomach um, to kill cancer in your stomach, then you could possibly get colon cancer from that. Um, I think that's all I have. Um, if I did not answer any, I feel like I've covered most things, but if you still have questions, um, feel free to message me and then I will message you back and if anybody has any new questions you can message me and i will get back to you on that um i try to hit everything in one video because i have a toddler and things are about to be crazy so i'm just trying to you know cover everything um anyways i hope everyone has a great day and i hope this video was helpful um feel free to share it. Um, like I said, I'm doing this to make sure that, um, uh, I bring awareness to colon cancer. Um, it's risk factors, things that people don't know. People like me, cause I had no idea. Um, but I'm learning a lot these days. Um, and I will continue to share my journey, things that I knew, uh, things that um, I learn, um, things that the doctors share with me, things like that. I will, I will make sure that um, I will continue to make these videos as long as I can and um, share my knowledge. See you later.